This group of Egyptian representatives come from different parties, socialist parties, social democratic parties, liberal parties, and also Islamic-oriented parties. And that has been the fascinating thing about having the delegation here. most uh, important thing that I've learned and I think that we're lacking in Egypt is the fact to, um, how to translate your political vision which is of course uh, uh, comprehensive uh, political, economic, social, educational agenda and how you can uh, put all of this uh, uh, um, uh, program into simple words that uh, people can understand. So basically, the com basically the communication strategy uh, of how to to tackle the, these issues. I think this is the most uh, important thing that I've learned. Basically, how when they are campaigning, uh, they they translate this um, this agenda into three or four main uh, uh, points, and then how they communicate it on a visual and a textual. Uh, uh, level. So, for instance, in the brochures, how, how they, they write their agenda, and then at, at the end of the day, also visually, uh, for instance, um, the campaign I've been working with was very creative, and actually they were um, distributing s carrots, and the carrots had a symbolic meaning to, uh, to their agenda, for instance. So how to find creative ways to, to communicate with the people. I was astonished when I saw kids going to the elections by their their families just to learn how the democratic process is and it, it, it's all about uh, uh, your national duty it's all about uh, uh, how you love your country and, and you always work for the good of it so uh, I think that's the most important thing that you made the democracy is uh, uh, the important point in your culture, in everything, in your life, in your education, for health, for housing, for everything, you use the democracy and you learn it for your children. I believe that you have the mechanism to solve the problems. If we try to, uh, to use your mechanism or just uh, benefits from it by any way, uh, to just uh, learn it and uh, uh, try to, uh, to, to solve our problems by this mechanism, I think that would be perfect. Another thing is the uh, democratic culture as a whole, uh, the trust in the uh, system, not in the regime, it's the trust in the system. I know that my vote will, uh, that I have a vote and it will be counted properly and that I can take my kids to the punk station to show them how I vote so that they, they, they have it in their, in the back of their minds, in their subconscious and, and that is quite reflected in the uh, huge turnout rate, one of the largest in the world, like more than 85%. The most important and uh, fantastic thing here is that the high trust in the election system, uh, the high percentage of participation, it's more than 90%, maybe in Egypt it's, uh, it's almost 40%. I guess what was uh, so impressive for me was the uh, percentage of turnout for the election. It's very high, it's a very high rate. Uh, it's not, uh, in Egypt we are not close to this rate and I guess in a lot of countries, even in the Western countries, in Europe or something, I guess this, uh, this rate is too much, it's, it's too huge for the participation. Uh, which impressed me more by the level of awareness, the level of political awareness for uh, for the people, and that they do that uh, the population in Denmark really do believe in the system and in the in the process of the election and the political process in the country, and they do trust this process, which is weird somehow because most most people don't or don't trust politician, but here it seems that they, at least they do trust the system and that, the system, and that this system works. most inspiring thing was about uh, women participation in political life. Um, it's great to be here at a moment when the uh, first lady prime minister uh, comes from the Social Democratic Party and it's really highlighting the uh, empowerment and role that women are playing. And I think this is not a coincidence. It's coming from a culture that's very inviting and inclusive. Supporting women candidates and supporting young ladies to uh, get more involved and get closer to the, to the parliamentary experience, um, I think this is the way forward. Um,
we already have a very positive female uh, education and this is this just needs to be taken one step forward um, regarding party organization uh, there are various models of um, practicing internal party democracy um, and some of these uh, structures I think would be helpful to look at and, and uh, consider uh, since in Egypt some of these uh, models uh, are probably worth uh, exploring further uh, and uh, learning learning uh, learning from not necessarily adopting but at least learning and capturing the experience that the youth have more power uh, they have their own organizations they have their own, their own independent parties that uh, it, it's of course under the umbrella of the mother party but still they have their own independent organization that they can uh, have their own ideas uh, they have the, their own uh, decisions and sometimes it conflicts with the, the mother party but still uh, it's it's a culture to guarantee that everyone uh, uh, has the right to, to, to think to express what what he think uh, also to see an MPs uh, in, in the age of 19 and 20 and 25 uh, was really 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 uh, strange for me because in Egypt we don't have such a thing. For example, we, we, we have seen party with a 26-year-old president, we have seen an 18-year-old uh, council member, we have seen also um, uh, many, many 13 and 14-year-old members uh, campaigning and doing things and this is quite good. To have youth included into the, the decision-making process, to have them on, in power, it's very important and it really helps to make things better. And, uh, youth are more than the old think about them. Uh, the young people here are encouraged to participate and to practice democracy at a very young age. Uh, this is also... Uh, an experience that is worth uh, pondering and, and thinking about. Already in Egypt we have student unions uh, and we have um, sporting clubs and local activities. However, the political role of these organizations should probably be revisited uh, because they can play a, a great role in uh, preparing uh, more young people to take on leadership roles in the future. The, the main things that I learned here or that I actually um experience then I guess I should take back is that um, here there is um, a strong culture of uh, consensus building that that's because of the uh, nature of the political system and that no one party has ever been in, in government or in power by itself so you have to accommodate and integrate small parties and you have to overcome some minor differences for the better good or the bigger cause. One of the most important things is how to build consensus, how political parties have to work together, how they compete, yet they, are, they compete with believing in many democratic values and abiding by the rules and believing in the system. This brings me to another point that I've um, learned here, how um, the political parties interact together which is actually it was a very positive atmosphere. Everyone, um, when they're not debating on political issues, they're all friends. And then when they uh, actually start uh, uh, talking together in a, in a, in a formal political de debate, you can see the conflict, how it's going. But all in all, it was a very positive atmosphere. So it's a, it's a good, very good uh, representation of how in, in a democratic system, parties should be, should be interacting.